absolutely delightful and lovely, please welcome onto the stage, it's Stormy Pasha, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, everyone. Um, just to get out of the way, I, any speculations, I don't have any relationship with Stormy Daniels. <laughs> I'm extremely inspired by the woman that is about to take down Donald Trump. Uh, but I'm up here to take down the whole comedy empire of London and beyond. <laughs> Absolutely delighted to be here. And uh, yeah, a couple of things more to add. The good news is I'm here in full glam on Thursday evening, like a lot of effort. The bad news is the sad is sort of mediocre, I think, just, just to manage your expectation. The sad is not there yet, but I do promise we're gonna get through this. At the dress rehearsal, some people hold hands of people they didn't know because things got really tough. So if you feel really tough or unsettled, just try to grab someone's hand and we're gonna get through this together, okay? Um, so my set is really about, you know, self-discovery and uh, I'm introducing a couple of identities that live in this very tender body. Um, you wouldn't ever Imagine them because on the surface, what can you see on the surface of this glamorous, gorgeous, I can't really get over myself. Um, um, so I'm tall 6'4", European uh, origin, decent physique, I exercise, I run, I have almost pleasant smile. Or uh, maybe death stare from Eastern Europe if I don't like you. Um, I exercise, I run, I have hobbies, I have friends. Some of them are sitting on, on the front row, which makes me very uncomfortable, actually. Um, um, but yeah, kind of a lot of identities living. And some mornings I will wake up and I wouldn't know which identity will be in a driving seat. So bear with me, we're gonna get through this, right? It's tough, but we're gonna get through this, focus. Um, so the first identity which I called uh, the Dom, and it's social glue. And my friends uh, came up with this name, and I'm very, very grateful that it's not uh, Loop, because you know being called Loop would be rather inappropriate, right? But basically, what the Dom does is he walks around public places and really targets insecurity, image shy introverts, and try to reintegrate them. <laughs> back into the society, right? By kind of really targeting them. And I will show a little bit how it usually works. So like, Don walks around the square, sees one introvert and does this, hey introvert, what's up? Um, and then, you know, introverts tend to run away, but remember, Dom has a very long legs. He runs after them. Sometimes he hits with a metal bat or, with a wonderful emotional approach, something like, I see you, I know what you need, and I can give it to you. And you know, I really see this as a, as a community service, really, by integrating introverts back into the society, because what a horror movie would it be if all the introverts will be trapped in their heads, not talking, they will be plotting killings, mass murders, and I'm doing such a you know, big community service to the country, saving all of you guys from psycho introverts, really. <laughs> I need water, but I don't, don't have it, fuck it. Um, so the next identity is the, what I called Roberto, a little bit overly dramatic, and it's basically customer experience enhancing officer. <laughs> My friends met Roberto on a number of occasions. They're losing it now, but hey. <laughs> So basically, Roberto identifies shortcomings in the way how retail hospitality runs their processes. <laughs> and really, I mean, you think it's a Karen, but no, it's not Karen. It's better than Karen. It's actually Roberto. Um, uh, a little bit of, you know, Southern American flavor, a little bit more cool than white woman from States called Karen. Uh, and the last... Um, experience Roberto had uh, is he needed to take a heart scan. So he went to the hospital and, you know, there was wait and nobody would talk to him from reception to manage his expectations. And, you know, Roberto politely came to the front desk and said, well, when are you going to see me for heart scan, blah, 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 blah. And then 
the guy said, well, your appointment is much later than on your paperwork. And I said, well, you didn't tell me this. Well, Robert, no, not me, obviously, I wouldn't do such a thing. <laughs> Anyhow, and then I said, well, I don't know. And then the guy said, I don't know what you don't know. <laughs> and Roberto was fuming. <laughs> Quick conversation with management help to improve the processes, no problem. Moving on to the next uh, persona, which is a headliner of my set, actually, which makes some men in this audience a little bit unsettled because, spoiler alert, ladies, I'm gay. If you really fancied me, I don't want to ruin your fa fantasies, but I'm gay. So the final persona for this set is Ludovic, or male beauty enthusiast. <laughs> Um, and actually, I found somebody who I fancy, the man who is recording our show. He's number three in my set now. Thank you for, <laughs> thank you for being very, very pretty. And thank you for, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased you're, you're shooting us. Um, <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't know where, I go. well, I mean, there are two examples, but one of them is shit, the second one is better, so let's go with the second one. Um, so another hospital case. Uh, it's been a little bit bumpy in Ludovic's life recently, so he needed to go to St. Thomas's Hospital in the middle of the night, blah, blah. Terrifying whether you're gonna die from heart attack or from people in St. Thomas Hospital at 1 a.m. in the morning. Like, you know, it's a very close call. But anyway, in the midst of all this emotional turmoil, there was this gorgeous junior doctor, broad shoulders, beautiful eyes, strong hands, which helped him to be a short put athlete for Team GB. Yes, I Googled him the next day and, and, and found him online. Um, and you know, as a, as a token of gratitude, I decided to acknowledge his existence. And I said, doctor, I'm so happy your job hasn't been taken by artificial intelligence so you can physically touch and examine me. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed meeting Dom, Roberto, and Ludovic. Uh, they're kind of fun when they're not all together at the same time. <laughs> uh, but I hope you're going to enjoy the night. Thank you for coming, and it's a pleasure to perform in front of you. Thank you very, very much. Hey! Ah, oh, Pasha! Get your money's worth there, don't you? Cast a bloody thousand. Fantastic. Did we enjoy him? Of course we did. Of course we did. Fantastic. And uh, if he's not doing it in a couple of months' time, I will find him and kill him. <laughs>